What's up? Welcome to my crib. You wanna come in? Follow me. You guys caught me at a good time. I um, just happen to be making my post-workout meal right now. Come join me. What's up, boys? Obviously, today we're gonna be talking all about food, but I'm also going to be making, you know, my post-workout meal because I'm hungry, so. So, nutrition is a big part of athletics in general, and it's definitely something that I've gotten more into over my college career and towards the end of high school when I started getting a little more serious about, you know, really diving into the little things about running. I love food, and I always have. Performing at the elite level, you really need to eat healthy and fuel your body with the most nutrients possible while also keeping yourself sane and treating yourself. So I think I've found a really good balance of that. All right, I just finished my long run and I've got to fuel right back up. Then I'm gonna be making a tofu scramble. So we've got a good source of plant-based protein. We've got more beans for also some plant-based protein and a lot of veggies for carbs and just nutrients in general. And this is gonna taste amazing. I had it yesterday and I cannot wait to eat it. And I'm gonna, you know, start whipping this up right now. Well, I guess I should heat that up. So today we're gonna be talking about nutrition. And nutrition is probably my favorite thing to talk about because uh, my Instagram at one craze foodie. Follow me right now if you haven't already. So a lot of you have been wondering like what my nutritional background is, what my nutritional philosophy is in general. Overall, I think my entire motto is to listen to your body. That goes for when you're hungry, eat. When you're not, don't. No, I don't count calories. No, I do not eat healthy 100% of the time. I just listen to my body and if I want something, I'll eat it. And my goal every time I come into the kitchen is to really just feel satisfied and satiated overall when I leave. And now that, you know, I've spent years and years, you know, trying to eat as healthy as I can, my body really just craves things like straight up vegetables or even tofu, which might sound weird to some of you guys who are, you know, just getting into healthy eating. But once you continue practicing it for, you know, a matter of years or months, you will learn that your body actually really does crave these things. So, you know, just adding all my veggies to my stir fry right now. Got to get into those post run nutrients yeah I am definitely not the best cooker as you can see although my Instagram may seem like you know I eat a hundred percent healthy by the content of my posts or everything is you know this extravagant meal it's not last night I had a can of beans for dinner I am a college student you know I'm balling on a budget here sometimes you just got to eat some beans for dinner you know guys I say you know eat when you're hungry stop when you're full but Sometimes you just want to eat until you're in a food coma and there's nothing wrong with that. I go into, you know, granola comas, hummus comas far too often, you know, and I, I love that feeling. There's nothing wrong with that, guys, once in a while. You got to treat yourself if you want. The other day I had donuts and I really wanted them, so I went out and got a donut. That's the number one thing you got to tell yourself. Your body overall really does want healthy food, especially when you're training a lot, but you, your mind sometimes, you know, you got to keep yourself sane. You got to eat what you want sometimes. And for me, I love granola. I love peanut butter. Sometimes I just want to, you know, grab a jar of nuts out and maybe eat half. <laughs> and I genuinely get excited about these foods because they make me feel so good. And I think that's what I've learned is that some foods make me feel better than others. So that's why I eat like a lot of plant-based items is because they give me that energy. They don't make me feel sick. Like, you know, sometimes going into granola commas do. So I genuinely want to eat potatoes and Brussels sprouts all the time. Your body is really smart. So my biggest advice is to just, if one day you don't feel like you really want vegetables for dinner, you shouldn't feel like you're forced to eat vegetables. And don't feel guilty about it if you don't get your serving of greens in for the day. If the majority of your diet is, you know, based on plant-based foods like this, a lot of greens, a lot of vegetables, things that come from the earth naturally and aren't prepackaged. You shouldn't feel guilty one day for not having a salad for dinner. All right, now we're just gonna crumble that tofu into there with my bare hands. I'm going to add some turmeric to my breakfast scramble. This spice is very good for helping inflammation, but when you do eat it, make sure to have some pepper with it because that will let your body fully absorb the nutrients in the turmeric. I never eat less on days that I don't work out. You know, your body needs to recover from the days previous to that, so why would you ever, you know, restrict yourself on days that you don't exercise as much? 
So as you guys know, I have struggled with my body image in the past, but my body image never affected my eating habits. I always have made sure to get in enough nutrients to fuel the amount that I've been running and working out. And I've always had such a big love for food, so that's why I you know, have this Instagram account and I just love sharing my passion for healthy food and it makes me feel really good. So that's why I like sharing it with all of you. All right, it looks like we're almost done here. It's looking pretty good. Look at that scramble, guys. Honestly, we're really excited to eat this because that's 115 and I'm starving. And some of the benefits, you know, I've seen from eating healthy are just overall increased recovery time and I don't really get very sore, so that's just awesome. And something that I've noticed from eating pretty healthy is that I just don't have any skin problems. And I do genuinely think that comes from eating whole, you know, plant-based food like this. I've never had a ton of acne in the past, but I have noticed that, you know, as I've gotten older, my skin has gotten a little less clear, but when I eat healthy foods like this, my skin just looks and feels just more healthy in general. And I think one of the reasons why I haven't been very injury prone in college is that I make sure to eat enough and I eat very healthy foods. You know, now that my meal is pretty much done, I'm gonna, you know, just a little disclaimer on eating healthy. I'm not gonna tell you, know, that it's gonna change your life dramatically because for me, it has not. It hasn't been some revolutionary change in my life. I don't magically have more energy to just, you know, wake up and get after it every day just from eating healthy. And I don't have, you know, a six pack all of a sudden just from eating vegetables. I think the best part of these past couple of years just figuring out what I like to eat and what my body feels best on is that I know that I'm going to eat this way the rest of my life. And that's just a really comforting feeling, you know, when you find something that you know you're gonna stick with. I wake up energized. I genuinely love every single thing of food I eat every single day, which is the best feeling because I love food. And I feel good and satisfied every single time I leave the kitchen. And that should be your goal over the next couple of years because it is a process to transition into healthy eating. Your goal should just be to find something that is sustainable for you and that your body feels best on. That is how you should eat. Also, I think the biggest thing in healthy eating and making it a sustainable way of living is that you need to find the healthy foods that you like. The way you eat is just a big process of trial and error. You have to try a bunch of different foods and really find out what you want to eat every day and what are going to be the staples in your diet. For example, if you don't like Brussels sprouts, do not force yourself to eat Brussels sprouts because that is just not a good way of living and you know that you're not going to do that every day for the rest of your life. Maybe you'll like broccoli better instead. So, And with that, fellas, I'm going to go enjoy this delicious bowl of post-run nutrients. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Vlogmas day six now. What? We are halfway done. If you're not subscribed already, why aren't you subscribed after looking at this beautiful meal? <laughs> Feel free to leave any comments below if you have any questions or anything. Also, if you want, you know, good meal ideas to start your healthy eating journey, follow One Craze Foodie on Instagram. Shameless self-plug because I love everything I eat. Give this video a like if you like food-related videos and if you're liking Vlogmas. And boys, fellas, I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, hello. Welcome to my crib. Oh, no. No, no, no! <laughs> what? What was he doing right there? Uh. <laughs>